Okay, so with coronavirus, I've had nothing to do. So I've actually been getting back into 3D printers again. So at the moment, this 3D printer works, the CR10. This 3D printer works, which is my gigantic hypercube. And this 3D printer most definitely does not work because I turned it into a linear actuator and then got sand on it. And apparently I bought this, which is 2.85 millimeter filament, and I can't use it. So that's just been sitting in the closet for months. Yeah, but I started working on this again. So this is like V2, 3 of uh, the Scara. So at the moment it has a Bontech BMG clone because money and China and I'm not paying. Um, uses better bearings this time, so they're like big. And I got this belt, and the belt doesn't slip anymore, and it has a big radius, so it's, like, all good and stuff. Uh, yeah, so this uses four, I don't remember, but it's, like, 70 by 60 million by 7 millimeter bearings or something? I don't know. But it's really smooth, and there's almost no wobble in it at all. Uh, and that uses two of them. And this is just kind of chilling there. I could take it off, but I'm not going to, because I have one hand. Yeah, so, uh, that's like the arm, and it's using those same carbon fiber rods as the other one. And then this, this is just inch MDF that I found at our family workshop, and it's screwed and bolted together through the back and then just spray painted, because lazy. Yeah, but, uh, this thing is kind of nice at the moment. I mean, it's not done, because I'm waiting for China to part ship. Um, yeah, but like the arm does this and it's like belts hooked up there and I got this I custom designed this cool little thing So it's like a it's like actually kind of tight now and the belt doesn't slip and I can like do that And it hurts cause it's hard. Yeah, but this is like what I've built full-on like built at the moment, I guess um yeah, that's built, but I have the entire thing designed on my computer in Fusion, so, uh, yeah, this is it so far. Well, it's kind of it at the moment, so this is, like, what I've built, like, if you see, I built this entire section here, and then all of the arm going out to here. I have, and so, this arm is, like, I don't know, a little over half a meter tall, I think? like half a meter long um but i was like go big or go home right so i ordered some more carbon fiber rods so each of these rods is going to be 500 millimeters so i'm going to have a print volume and like if you take into account the angles that this thing can like use i'll have a print area of like four meters and like a print volume of like five cubic meters so that's kind of insane, but like, I was bored and wanted to do something fun. Yeah, so, these are just, this. I'm using a ball screw too, which is kind of cool, because like, I wanted to. And then these are just like, linear rails kind of thing. Yeah, so, on the interior, it's going to have, so this is like, what I've built, and then this is like, a reduction gear, and then the, these are the motor brackets. So it's going to have like a 25 to 1 gear ratio, and hopefully with belts and pulleys I'll get less uh, backlash than I did with my other belts and pulleys, and the harmonic drive just didn't work. So I did the calculations, and theoretically, using 128 step micro-stepping at the end of a half meter long arm, the accuracy should be 0 0.0056 millimeters. Um, and that's only 128 millimeter micro stepping if I like went down to 256. That's like 0 0.0028 millimeters. And that's like insane. But with the volume of this thing, I need to get more money because I need to buy either a, what is it, a Zesty Technology, uh, Mosquito Hot End. So it's like a remote direct drive kind of thing. Um, or an E3D Hemera, and either way, I'm gonna have to buy a Super Volcano and buy bulk filament, because, like, there's no chance that this thing is going to, if it works, 
which I think it will this time, maybe, even though I said that the other time, because I was, like, 16 or 17 when I made this, and I'm no longer that age. So, uh, yeah, this thing will be able to print chairs, and it's kind of sick, not gonna lie. The only problem is money. Um, yeah, so, uh, that's my latest project. This thing working flawlessly, that thing is not, and that thing is also working flawlessly. And I have a bunch of other projects that I'm not going to upload because I don't upload. Um, I just wanted to put a video out because I'm super bored. Yeah.